In. Not much farther now. Oh, said he found an image of a woman I resembled an ancient device. If she's my mother, why would there be traces of her all the way out here? So far from the world. Oh, I don't get it. Who is she? Her name is Elizabeth Sobek. You spying through my focus again. Well, go on. What do you know about her? Stay on your present course, and before long, you'll know her as well as I do. Don't but be wary. Baker's end is a crawler with eclipse troops. To help you deal with it, I've left some useful equipment just outside the ruins. Your focus will show the location. Who is he, and how does he know these things? He said Elizabeth Sobeck. What kind of name is that? I saw some of the places you'd been. The new settlers had no appreciation of craft. They'd already piled your work in a ditch. But I knew the signs to look for. The scrabble in the dirt, those surprised splashes. And I did tell you we'd meet again. No. Still hunting bandits? Oh, yes. I've been sharpening my blade, anticipating the scent of the fight. But don't get me wrong, these scum are odorous. A little panic and desperation really sets it off, though, like an incense. So, what's your knife called? Why would someone name a knife? So much for small talk. Are you ready? Just don't think this means I enjoy it. Don't worry. We'll take your secret to their graves. Steady as a drumbeat.
I can hear you think. This will help.
That signal will bring in reinforcements if they set it off. Heard something. So they were. the alarm.
easier when I was a kid. You know, we still need him to run. What use of the fate can't even stand in his run? Show him! To leave something else behind. I have no problem with Talala Khan Padish as head of the Hunter's Lodge. She's the last of her house. A woman. has risen on a new day. A shame a woman became Sunhawk of the Lodge, but at least she did it to honor the men of her house. Already. Never know when I might need these. debates and questions and arguments.
Remember how the blood pounded in your ears? They'll ring later, in the calm. It's a call to arms, from your inner desires. Or a cry for help. I wouldn't fight it. I can tell. Have you found a new partner yet? I thought we were partners. I have my own roads to follow, Nil. And they seem to lead back to bandits. That works for me. I'm not suggesting a Karja wedding. I'm never lonely where there's killing to be done. So you used to be a soldier. You fought for the Karja? Oh, for them, against them. An empire always finds its wars. You can't be picky. The new king of Vod saw things differently. Called an investigation and of war crimes. Aren't all wars a crime to someone? Still, I raised my hand and volunteered. You volunteered... to investigate? No, I volunteered my confession. No sense wasting time with an investigation. I was sent to Sunstone Rock for two years. The trade was fair. What were these things you did, Nil? Acceptable things, under the circumstances. <sighs> Acceptable to who? I don't make decisions. Let's just say the rules of engagement suited me. But rules are important. A structure. Cage. Otherwise, you know of those places, lonely places where people once were? Now just a hole cut in the world. Chances are, I was there before. They sent you to a rock for two years? Is this some kind of Karja ritual? No, no, Sunstone Rock is a prison, south of Meridian, south of the Rain Gathers. Our new Sun King is a believer in rehabilitation, as am I. In the heat of a stone cell, in the dark, I learned to focus on what was truly important to me. Time to move on. A brief encounter for us, but the end for them. They were squalid lives anyway. I'd ask her to marry me on Sunday. A woman now needs the hunter's friendship. What's next? A woman is...
might be able to take them out one by one if I stay out of sight. said it would be. Not a bad selection. I'll put those to use. Why are you doing this? Because I want you to succeed. Good hunting. We'll talk later. Wait! So much for being careful. Gotta be.
Storm tour. Day one. Where better to start than at the end? Or where the end started, anyway. Ground zero. Where it all came crashing down. My career first. Then everything else. And I mean everything. Acting as guards. 
The Eclipse and corrupted machines. Cooperating. Eclipse, just like you said. We might have trouble. Forged dirt delvers made off with any witches long ago, but not the ancients buried in the ground. Got a body over here! We might have trouble. Heard something. Snow's got a bite out here. These dig sites, they're massive. <laughs> something. See someone up there? Mm -hmm. 
fight me! Gotta relax.
wish you went that away. With them fighting at our side, Meridian will be ours once more. Glad no one saw that. What have they been uncovering here?
soul last. Bringers Olin talked about. Fitting name. I'll never get into that tower. Unless I destroy that thing first. <laughs> Blasting out. I wonder if those are weak ones. Not alone.
take a look at this corpse? Focus. Let's see what's on it. Snow haze. White as bone. <laughs> that thought got dark. Did you see that? No answer, huh? Figures. Things just keep getting stranger. I need to find a way inside the tower.
moment, but I can squeeze through. Hold for identity scan. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Forget about traveling light. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black cord stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Black Court standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. I don't know what to tell you, Ted. You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Sounds bad.
Or a statue of one, anyway. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Ferro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Ferro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Ferro Automated Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. So they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. What was this place? What were they doing here? a corporation, a group of people not unlike a tribe, and they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. Now, I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Ferro Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me, we will be exploiting a massive, uh growth opportunity by retooling and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Why? I'd have to ditch something. The air. 
There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. could get through. that as a ramp to get back up. anymore. Should have brought a cart. They blame this place for something. Something bad. It looks like
Looks like the way up. What's left of it? Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. The Corruptor. Slave enemy robots to its own network. Sounds like it's talking about how it corrupts machines. can find a way to hang on up here. Guess I can too. offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's... Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. that began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down codes, and by all signs they appear to be replicating at a precipitous rate. Now what I can promise you can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this, that a day's coming when none of this will matter. snow to bury me.
can't spare the weight. Got too much already. Elizabeth, good to, uh, it's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your daddy confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's a glitch in the chariot line. You're killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. <laughs> Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here, but they hated each other. Another Faro has been recovered. This isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. We're not talking fall of 
civilization we're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fellow has been recovered. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, listen. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I am speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. This... this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching and I'm still no closer. If that's your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? You should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the Old Ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that Thero robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. You have no idea what I've been through. How hard it's been. My whole life, I grew up not knowing who I am or where I came from, and then come the Eclipse trying to kill me just because I look like this Elizabeth Sobeck woman. And they killed the man who raised you and you found the mountain as a baby. I already know this through your focus. The point is, every time I take a step forward, the answers slip farther from my grasp. <sighs> you just don't understand. It's not that I don't understand, Aloy. It's that I don't care. If the answers keep slipping away every step you take, then you best start running to catch up. 
Maybe then you'll realize just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? Not so fast, Silence. You've got some explaining to do. I've told you quite enough. If you still got questions, be quick about it and stop wasting my time. You said you've known for some time that Faro War Machines destroyed the civilization of the Old Ones. The evidence pointed that way. But until now, I never knew the full scope of their danger. That they could process organic matter into fuel, or that the Horus class could manufacture more robots. Like a cauldron on legs. But the robots we've seen so far, the Corruptors and Deathbringers, they don't do those things. Not yet, anyway. So far, we haven't encountered any that are undamaged. At full power, who knows what they're capable of. Now, if that's enough talking, be on your way. Oh, no. I'm just getting started. You've been getting a free ride on my focus, risking nothing while I risk everything. All I have to do is take this thing off my head, and you'll be blind, deaf, and dumb. So quit complaining and answer my questions. Very well. Proceed. Who are you, Silence? And what are your intentions? You really need to make this personal? I'm a lone wanderer who left his tribe behind a long time ago. An explorer of forbidden places, a searcher of lost knowledge. Exactly as I said. Why do you know so much about the Eclipse? I happen to know a lot about a lot of things. If what you're really asking is whether I work for the Eclipse or anyone else, I don't. I am nothing if not independent. You've been using my focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Every focus emits a signal, a voice, that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate, even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so different from how you override machines. I override focuses. And you can spy through other Eclipse's focuses, too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is... complicated. So far as I can tell, the Eclipse are just following orders. It's Hades who wants me dead. Who is he? I don't know. The Eclipse describe him as a buried shadow, some kind of devil. That thing that spoke to me outside, that made that focus explode. That was Hades? It didn't seem like a person or a machine. More like a phantom. A terrible voice. All that's certain is that he wants you dead. Because of my connection to Elizabeth. Has to be. Hades is using the Eclipse to resurrect feral robots. But if Elizabeth found a way to stop them centuries ago, if she made special weapons, maybe Hades is worried I'll do the same thing. In some of the ancient data I've recovered, there are hints of so-called super weapons being developed. Maybe to stop the robots, the civilization of the Old Ones had to destroy itself. It 
Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? It's highly unlikely, but not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Pharmaceuticals, mostly. An ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Freezing and unfreezing people? Cryogenics, they called it. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation. Wasting time. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cherry name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. <laughs> Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up, at least. U.S. Robot Command next. Snowfall. Getting colder. Look out below! 